Okay. So. Yeah, we'll catch a tree and make go up and hole in the pot. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, 2 p.m. So we proceed to start the meeting. Welcome to the ITF uh, role meeting. Please notice that this session is being recorded. Also notice that all the ITF work that enroll is aligned with the not ITF not well. So please all the listed RFC and BCPs carefully. Also notes that the ITF uh, has guidelines of, for conduct, RFC 7154. And as well, please read carefully RFC 7, uh, 7776 related with the ITF anti harassment procedures. So, as a reminder, we, we are uh, in the ITF that where we respect each other and we follow the guidelines for conduct. And if you don't feel in that way, please contact the Ombuds team. As a reminder, notice that uh, you need to be logged in Miteco to be able to uh, speak at the mic. You need to join the queue. So you can scan the QR. Um, and uh, in that way, be logging into the on-site tool. OK. Thank you. And please uh, mute if you are not talking. Uh, these are the resources for the ITF 118, uh, the agenda, Miteco information, and if you need technical assistance. Then we continue with the resource from Roll. So we have the Miteco link, the notes. Please, uh, do we have minute takers in the room? Michael? Okay, thank you very much, Michael. And then we have the chat in Sulip and additional uh, meeting materials like uh, slides are in the last link. So this is our role agenda. Uh, basically, we are going to discuss the status of the current uh, working group items. Mm, since we have not received a direct presentation from the author, so we, in, uh, we are going to start with some introduction, working group introduction. Then we are going to discuss about the status of RNFD. Then continue with the MOPEX, continue with enrollment priority, and finally with N NCA extension. Some comments or questions? OK. OK, yes, Pascal? Yes, do, do, do you have a status on the DAO projection that is being reviewed? I mean, did you get an, did you get any news about the review? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah this is Dominic. This we is haven't true. gotten any new. Oops, I'm getting a lot of feedback. Um, anyway, I'll try to speak nonetheless. We haven't received uh, feedback from Susan to your uh, responses. Ah, here, so. here is Susan. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. I'll let you manage in room. No, no. I, I, I didn't think nobody joined the room. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, Susan said that she will address the the um, response from Pascal. Good. Good. And many and, thanks, Susan, for yeah. your review. I mean, I know it's an awful lot of of work. Thank you. Okay. Hi, this is Sue Harris. I did your review. Wow, what a lot of work. Give me a mo give me. Uh, I've been overloaded. My apologies for not responding back. I will try to get to it this week. Okay. Thank you very much, Susan. I appreciate it. Yep. Uh, very. 
Thank you very much as well uh, from Dominic. Uh, maybe if we have time in the open floor uh, discussion, we can address some of the comments. Uh, we'll see. Because it's not on the agenda, we can't put it on the agenda right now, but at least in the open floor session, open, open floor uh, part at the back of the meeting. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Additional comments on the agenda? Thank you. So for our draft status, we have submitted uh, two drafts into the ISG, Audible Ripple, um, DAO Projection. Sorry, I didn't put myself in the queue, John Scudder. Um, yes, so I was, um, as anybody who looks at my queue can see, I am behind on it, um, but I'm aware of those documents and we'll move as fast as I can on them. Okay. So thank you. Yes. Yeah. Thank you very much, John, for the update. And then uh, for NSA extension, we are going to discuss today. Uh, we hope to have a new version today as well. Then enrollment priority, MOPEX, RNFT, uh, as well, we are going to discuss today and their working progress. And capabilities and storing root act will need uh, waiting for attention. I think we can work on them after we have shipped the previous documents to ISG. Ah, yes, Michael, you are in the queue. Uh, I'm already in the agenda, so don't uh, worry. Uh, these are our, our milestones. Uh, Dominique has sent an email to the billing list about these updates that we propose to have. Um, so please comment. Thank you very much for the comments that we have received. Uh, comments on the, the one that have not commented, please uh, read it carefully and give us uh, your opinion. Notice that the first two items, we plan to drop them if there is no interest in the working group to work on that. Um, yeah, and uh, for the this solicitation, we have received an email from Georgios that uh, he planned to work in the use cases. So we, we can take care of Discussion in the mailing list about that. Yeah. Uh, we want to have regular interim meetings so we can advance with the working role. So we plan the, as we discussed in the last interim meeting in September, we plan to have uh, every two months interim meetings. So the next one will be 25th January at 1 p.m. UTC. The meeting is already approved, so we are going to proceed after the ITF with the request for items for the agenda. And uh, as well, a question about that, uh, if we should meet into uh, ITF 119 in Brisbane, or after Brisbane, after January, what do you think? No comments? Michael? Yeah, Michael. Mm -hmm. um, given the lack of people mm -hmm. and the number who seem to be in the, uh, to, will have lots of time in their retirement but no money, um, that it seems unlikely that we'll have a, uh, a um, quorum in Brisbane. So we should probably just meet after Brisbane, mm -hmm. that's what I would say. And I, I would, I'm, I'm very enthusiastic about having an interim every, virtual interim every two months. Mm -hmm. uh, and I would encourage you to pick more of the dates. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Michael. Even if you change them later, mm. still having the dates reminds us that we're, we're making progress. That's, that's true. Yeah. Point taken. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Logistical uh, question. It's 1 p.m. UTC. I'm from California. It will be 5 a.m. in the morning. So what's the 
Is there any reason to put uh, such an earlier time? Uh, we have created a Doodle pool that we have sent to the mailing list. So based on the Doodle results, we have decided this. Um, but well, we, we can discuss with uh, Dominique for the next slots. We can make maybe another Doodle for the newcomers and let's see for the next meetings. But in principle, uh, yeah, we have decided based on Doodle. Um, okay, thank you. We will take that in consideration. Pascal, you were in the queue as well? Well, I, I'm pretty much in line with what Michael has said. It's going to be hard to get a quorum. You could pull the mailing list. Um, I've, I've had that question before, whether uh, the mailing list is relevant or not, because yes, the actual meetings, there are some people who show up who would not uh, necessarily listen to the mailing list, but Yes, considering the phase at which we are now with this working group, I believe that putting the working group uh, on the mailing list is enough to figure out if it makes sense to go to Brisbane. Personally, I don't plan to be in Brisbane. Okay, thank you for your comment. Additional comments on this? Okay, we proceed. So with the first item, work item, fast border router crash detection on Ripple. So we have uh, as a work in progress. The last version of this draft is in September. We especially thank to Anand and Carles Gomez for volunteering to review this, idea, uh, this draft. Thank you very much. Do we have another volunteers? Okay, uh, we have sent an email on this, so if you Please read the draft and if you want to review it, uh, let us know. And as well, we have requested routing and security directorate reviews for this draft. Mm, so after to have after addressing the issues of the reviews, we plan to proceed with the working group last call. And then the yeah, thank you, Michael, for uh, agreeing to be the shepherd on this. Additional comments or questions? Okay. Uh, about MOPEX, as well, this is, um, there are some open issues. Um, they are being addressed by Raul based on the last interim meeting. Uh, the comments are based on the routing directorate review. Uh, sorry, uh, yeah, Alvaro's review. And as well from the last interim meeting, a new ticket was created, number 12, related with the mode of operations, all values, how to handle in with the new mode of operation. So after the open issues are addresses, we plan to have uh, two internal reviews for this document, request for routing and security director reviews, and proceed with the working group last call. Um, of course, to have the shipper write up on time. So this is the status. I think Raul is not uh, online. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, yes, Dominique, you are in the queue. Yeah. Uh, um, again, as you mentioned, uh, Raul is not uh, part of the meeting, but maybe I wanted to reiterate the question, and Raul has not answered to that yet, uh, which is... Uh, we we wrote in this document that in the extended field for mode of operation we can reuse the old values um, and then to me the draft isn't clear about what happens exactly when we use the old values in the new field do we mean that the network operates exactly the same way as it operated with the regular mode of operation field or do we mean that it does about the same with some new tricks like some options being mandatory because that's something that the the document says right now so i've, I've uh, filled in everything in a, in an issue uh, proposed a few ways to go and so hoping for comments and actions by Raoul on this. And I think Pascal is also a co-author of the document that 
to put you on the spotlight, Pascal. Spotlight, Pascal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if if you ask me, uh, there is we had that discussion about including the old values and you know basically making this field a copy of the other, but with more values in it, or or would it be just additional? And yes, the only value of copying all the old values into this field is effectively to, to make it ripple 2.0, which and the idea was we would effectively have a number of um, functions mandatory uh, as part of ripple v2.0, in particular the versioning, etc. So uh, I, I tend to, to agree with the second uh, possibility that you proposed, Dominic, which is uh, yes, it's the same value, but it also mandates the ripple B2 support, which is a list of functions we have to define. Right, and, and yeah. actually this discussion stemmed from uh, the comment that we need to describe to Ayana what we want, and I'm suggesting we assign new names for these old values in the new field so that we don't equate the behaviors. and. Later down the road, we can still say, by the way, the new name is the same as the old name. But if they have the same name, then there's no way we can tell them apart later on. Go ahead, Michael. Um, yeah, so um, Pascal's memories matches mine that we wanted the old behaviors with the new, uh, with the V2 functionality, which basically means we've turned on a bunch of things mandatorily. And I, yeah, I'm fine with, you know, whatever we call it, dash V2 or something. Um, that sounds right to me. Um, and um, yeah, I'm okay with that. That, that. That's my memory matches Pascal's about that. Yeah, I, I remember that discussion as well. So if it's, if we are sure this is what we want, then this document, uh, Mopex, uh, could just specify that, that the, when the old value appears in the new field, then it's the same behavior as before, except for uh, all the optional features that are made mandatory as part of Ripple v2. But we don't have a Ripple v2 right now. So what do we write in the document? Michael at the mic again. Um, I think the answer is that maybe we leave those values reserved for what we just said. Okay. So if, if since as you say we don't have definition of v two, um, we we should read we should put them as reserved. Okay. Can maybe just discussing further? Can we have? Assign a symbolic name to them, like it's a storing mode v2, etc. So they are, we kind of hint that they're going to be the same mode as before with the v2 enhancements, as opposed to just blank reserved. Does that make sense? Okay. We'll discuss that on the mailings, maybe. Yeah, I think uh, Pascal has well been the queue, but yes, uh, Dominique, what you say, yes, uh, I, I agree. We need to specify that in, in the document, and it's good to have this discussion in the mailing list. Maybe as part of the ticket 12, you can add this comment, please. So, yeah, I will improve, uh, ah, augment okay. the, the comments in the, in the ticket, in the issue. I saw Aris joining the queue briefly. Was that? By mistake or? Yeah, yeah, no, I just clicked by mistake, that's right. Okay. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, some uh, additional comment or questions? Okay. Mm. For enrollment priority? Michael, uh, we have uh, these open tickets 
Um, only two are answered by Pascal, but if you agree what uh, Pascal mentioned in the ticket and is addressed in the document, we can close it. Hi. Um, yeah, uh, I think the only one is that's open, I think, is 17. Okay. I think all the rest are, are done. Um, I think 17 is done in my copy. Um, and I believe that there was another review that I received, um, or maybe it was your Shepherd comments. Um, I think from Conrad, maybe. From Conrad. Maybe. Yeah. Well, I think I've acted on all of those. Um, uh, so I think I have some changes in my copy that I haven't published yet. Uh, it expires next week. I will publish it to today uh, once I check things. Uh, I think that all the issues are closed um, that, at this point. Um, I need to double check. Like there are no, I checked. There are no, there are no, there are no area reviews in the document at all. Um, but I'm gonna, I'll just double check the mailing list if, if there was a review that we received that I just didn't act on yet. Um, but maybe that's for a different document. So, uh, but I believe it's done. Uh, the request was to change the, uh, the Mantissa mm -hmm. to fewer, use one byte less. Um, and um, that was well received. So that was last time we had a meeting. We discussed that. Okay, great. Thank you very much, Michael. Um, additional comments on this? Okay. So for the next steps, once that uh, Michael Paul is the new version, um, we are going to assign two internal reviewers and request for routing and security directory reviews. And after addressing those issues, we will proceed with working group last call and then with the shepherd write up. Comments on these next steps? Okay, so NSA extension to know if Aris or Dominic. Hi, I'm here. Yeah. yeah, since you're here, go ahead. And since you worked ah, no, on the document uh, today, yes. you so, can uh, update us on that. Yeah, I can be really quick. So basically we had a total of uh, six different comments, uh, two from Yana and four from Alvaro. We addressed all of them, um, they, they were not hard to to address uh, it was mostly agreeing with the comments or implementing changes but nothing too too complicated so we have no other open issues yeah i think that's it okay thank you um so yeah just to uh, so that everybody is aware we have a dash 12 that was published like an hour ago or maybe two hours ago no uh, one hour ago Harris. <laughs> yeah, one, one hour ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for for doing that. Um, so I haven't had time to review that and and make sure uh, form an opinion on whether it addresses mm -hmm. issues. But I, you tell us that it does. So that's very good. You're um, allowed to disagree, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> as a chef, I'll, I'll yeah. review that anyway, as you can tell. Um, I had one point that I wanted to discuss, and you might be calling me a logic freak or doing nitpicking, which is this uh, change that was in the ticket. Um, so we've been banging on that issue uh, for a few months now. Mm -hmm. uh, if the text shows on the slide, if a candidate neighbor does not fulfill the um, requirement, then the path mm -hmm. through that neighbor must be set to max path cost. And yes. so we agreed that there was a discussion about whether this was a must or should and et cetera. So yes. uh, you, pr you proposed that it be a must so, because yes. uh, it, we're talking about alternate parents. So yep. there's no harm in not having an alternate parent. Nope. Uh, so we don't have to align with uh, the Mr. Hoff objective function that is cautious about not uh, preventing from having a parent at all. Uh, so I totally understand that and I, I buy it, I mean. Uh, however, there was a se second sentence that we already had discussed, which mm -hmm. is as a result, must, the node must not select the candidate neighbor as its alternate parent. And, and here I'm wondering if we're not 
rewriting or duplicating a specification that's somewhere else. If uh, a cost is set to max path cost, don't we have a text already normative like in 6550 that says that such candidate neighbor must not be used if, if it if, has max path cost? Has max path cost. <laughs> Yeah, so, so uh, no, go ahead. Uh, it's just eco. I'm it's not just eco. Eco. No, it was me actually. Uh, <laughs> uh, just, yeah. just to say that this yeah. constant doesn't come from 6550, it comes from Mr. Half. And so it's, it's only valid if you, well, that's my best knowledge actually, it comes from Mr. Half. So there's not no such thing again by memory in 6550. So so it's only if you if you insist that we inherit from Mr. Half that this makes any sense. Because okay. the behavior is effectively okay. also in Mr. Half. Because that where, where the constant is defined, it's thirty two thousand or something. It's a half of the of the size of the of the field. Okay, thank you for mm -hmm. the information. I, I was hoping you would know from the top of your head where this must was. So you're saying it's in my staff, which makes my, my, my task much easier to dig it up and, and check. Um, so yeah, thanks for that. And I'll think about it and, okay. and write the office about that. So, so I, I don't see how we could have a case so one thing we can do is remove this sentence uh, in the sense that it's uh, superfluous. Right. But uh, you can see it as an explanation, basically, as a clarification. Well, that, by the way, this is exactly what we mean. We, we mean that it should not Right, be but then, then, then you write it in a different way. Then you write, as a consequence, per this other document yeah, okay. that has you, a note of a... normative language, the node yeah, yeah. will not be selected. Well, that's the explanation. Okay. And, and look in the chat, John just uh, wrote uh, his opinion on that question. Thank you, John. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Point taken. So I'll check as well uh, to see what uh, Mr. Hoff says. I don't remember. I think it doesn't prescribe something specific, but I'll double check as well. The, depending on that, if it's already prescribed that in the case of, uh, if it says something equivalent or not, depending on the case, we can see what to do. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Next slide, Ines. Okay, great. Thank you very much. That is for the update and Dominic. We have the next issue, next steps. Yep. Uh, Dominic, do you want to? Okay, I can talk to that one. Uh, so yeah, I had written offers to address the issues. So we'll issues. Like that the issues have been addressed. And then as a shepherd, I'll update the write-up. And then we issue a new working group last call and Based on that, submit to the ISG. That's the plan for forward. Comments, Pascal, you're in the queue. Pascal is in the queue. Yeah, yeah. yeah. considering the intention, I mean, we could have used infinite frank, which is fox, 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 which is, comes from 6550. It, it really depends. If RS, you want to depend on Mr. Half at all, or if you want this to be more generic than Mr. Half. If you want it to be more generic than the behaviors in Mr. Half, and say the, the, the objective function could be something different, then you should not refer to a constant that comes from Mr. Half. You should just say infinite rank, and that comes from Ripple, and then you don't have a dependency on Mr. Half. I see, but generally, yes. our, generally idea was, our idea was uh, that uh, we don't, uh, we don't uh, create new behavior where it's not necessary. So this is m uh, an advantage uh, for the implementation uh, because it makes it difficult to implement and uh, it reduces, uh, it reduces um, difficulty of understanding. Someone who already knows how Mr. Hoff works, they can just see the difference. Uh, sorry, sorry, there is a lot of people. We cannot understand. Yeah, Pascal, you're using 
hands free, I guess. It seems the echo comes whenever you turn your audio in. Do you want to try it again, Pascal? Sorry. Yeah, I, I guess the, the, the volume was too high on my side. And yes, I'm using hands free. Um, so, so yes, what I was getting at is Mr. Hoff is a very specific objective function, which depends on ETX, et cetera. Now, the behavior that NSA has does not depend at all on ETX and the metric and what kind of, what set of metric people would like to use. So it's, it's like, it doesn't make much sense to me to, to say we depend on Mr. Hoff for doing this. Um, we, it's it's an extension to any objective function. I mean, you, you could decide that you compute your rank based on this or based on that. And, and NSA is not really impacted. It's more like, do we have grandparents? And so I don't see the value of, of limiting the applicability of NSA just to, to Mr. Hoff. Um, I, I see what you're saying. Um, I don't know how to resolve this. So my difficulty is that um, if we keep it super generic, then we will have nothing concrete. So we can say, yes, we have an objective function, any objective function, it can wrap any constraint, any metrics you want. And by the way, we add the constraint for the common parents. Uh, I, I, to be honest, I don't know how to express that in a draft. I don't know how to create a generic well, draft. Well, uh, ripple is written that way. It just says, you know, the objective function is responsible for doing this, 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 that. And and now you, NSA would extend ripple by saying that the objective function, uh, in the case of NSA, has these additional check-ins or this additional operation. And it's the generic objective function. It's yeah. not... Off. And the, the, you should not even have ETX written anywhere in this specification, right? Uh, yeah, if, if you don't want to base on that, yes, you should remove it completely. Um, let me remember. I mean, that, that reduces completely the applicability of, of the draft if you, if you base it on, on Mr. Half. Yes. May, may, well, the second thing is this is what we based it on when we implemented it. So I guess we were biased in a sense. Um, if there is interest in uh, in making it more generic, we can work on that. I, I don't think it's difficult because I, I the objective function basically is is the abstract method for computing a, a rank, which is mm. you know a metric, uh, and and the way you compute that metric is effectively in this plugin that we call the objective function. Now, what you're saying is, uh, if if you relate, to, there is a section in Ripple which basically describes um, abstractly what an objective function is, and if you refer to that as opposed to referring to Mr. Half. Uh, then you, you, you're probably all, all, all set because you're extending this, uh, the steps that are in this particular section. I'm, I'm looking for it right now because I don't remember by heart exactly where it's located. But um, I remember there is this function, this uh, section somewhere, which basically says an objective function does this and then this and yeah, then yeah. this and then this. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And basically what you would be doing is, is kind of update that particular section and um, say where you place your behavior inside that particular section. Yes. Yes. Um, let me think about um, it. Let me think about it. It, it sounds like a good it idea. I mean, like uh, idea. you have a point. Uh, I, I just need to think about how exactly I'm going to to do it. It's not 
crazy complicated. I understand your point. Uh, I need to basically follow the more generic description of the objective function instead of the more specific one for uh, Mr. Hoff. Uh, I can remove all references to how the hysteresis works or stuff like that. So yes, it can be more generic like this. That's true. Okay, okay. okay. But in that case, I guess uh, we need to cancel the working group uh, last call, etc., because there, there might mm -hmm. be some important changes. Yeah, sure. Very nice. And please... Uh... I, uh, I don't believe it should be important changes because the, all the behavior that you, you describe, I mean, finding the common grandparents, etc., this is topological. It, has, it, is, it is not based on the way you compute the rank. It's once, once the ranks are computed, you get a certain topology. Yeah. And now you're looking at yeah. the physical properties of that topology. And that's why you start, really. Okay, okay. okay. No, no, I, I get it. Uh, I, the, the reason for complexity is mostly to avoid, uh, let's say, editing mistakes, uh, forgetting to update things or leaving in things that shouldn't be in. So I need to do it a bit carefully. I, I don't want to leave a dependence on Mr. Hoff by mistake. That's my point. OK, let, let's think about it, uh, because that might be an important uh, editorial work yeah, that... uh, and we need to figure if the benefit of changing is enough to do this uh, rework. Uh, I'm, I must say, uh, as a participant, I'm not totally convinced. Uh, I need to review Pascal's uh, arguments. Well, well, the argument is mainly that Mr. Hoff is not the only objective function. It's not even the most generic one. Web zero is more generic, and then there are, there are a number of implementations around uh, which add their own objective function. And so th the only case I know Mr. Hoff is being implemented is actually the open source county key thing. I guess that's what you were based on. But I'm not, I don't know that Mr. Hoff has any traction in industrial protocols. So. I, I get that, but you said implementations have their own objective functions, yet they have no specifications. Yes. We need a we specification need to, to refer to. to, to, to my knowledge, well, we have OF0 well, and Mr. Hoff, that's, that's, that's it. They implement their own objective function, but because this is not dependent on the objective function, they could, if, if we write an essay, abstract to the objective function, just like we wrote RFC 6550 abstract to the objective function. That was an important design goal. Um, if, if we keep the same design goal here, they can adapt this work to their OF. If we base this work specifically on Mr. Hoff, then they won't even look at it. OK, I see that. Okay. So you're saying we're not Specifying a new objective function, we're just making it totally agnostic to any objective function that could be plugged in together with that. Yes, we are adding abstract steps to the objective function. But the computation of the metric of the rank is not changed. The objective function computes the rank. That's what it does. And there can be tons of logic and, and physical metrics and stuff which come into the computation of the distance vector metric. But at the end of the day, that's what the objective function does. This draft comes after. Yes, I I, understand. I hear you. Uh, Mr. Hoff does way more than computing the, the rank. Yet it's called an objective function. Maybe it's a mistake. So what I would okay. propose, if, if uh, you're open to this, like, I understand the idea. I don't know how well I can implement it. Maybe you can give me one or two weeks to try out a conversion in a separate branch on Git. And uh, we can see uh, if editorially speaking, it's going to be a huge pain in the ass or not to, to re-edit. If it's something that you can be happy with, uh, Dominique, maybe you can 
look at that. What do you think? Yeah, we could do that or have a little design session sometime okay. as you want. Yeah, yeah that, that, that works as well, uh, as you prefer. Okay, we'll um, synchronize offline. Okay, thank you. And also, please bring this topic into the mailing list, Ari, so we can get feedback from the community as well. Yes, sure. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, so, well, based on the discussion, the next step will be uh, defined if we need a general form for the object in function. So, yeah, looking forward to it. Uh, additional comments on this draft? Okay. Okay, open floor. Some comments or questions? So I think uh, this would be a, a good point to discuss the, the question by Pascal on uh, DAO protection and the status of uh, experimental versus standard strike, especially since we have a Susan in the room as well. Uh, Susan, I remember you, you recommended the draft be uh, defined as uh, experimental and Pascal objected to that, so. Okay, Susan is approaching to the mic, but uh, yeah. Can you join the queue? Yeah. Michael as well is in the queue. <laughs> yeah, ah. let's have a discussion. I'll add myself to the queue. Okay. Okay. Anyway, I think I'll just ignore that. Um, this is a up to the chairs, but it's feedback from a reviewer. You've got an existing protocol. You're doing you. You know the question is you're changing a lot in the protocol. Do you have any implementations or any uh, preliminary implementations to indicate how it works? It's a it's a general question for for revving a, a major protocol. Did you, so are we on the same track at this point on the question I asked in the review? Pascal? Hello, Sue. Yes, we are at the exact same point um, as we were when you, you did your review. Nothing has changed. <clears throat> now, the, the thing is, this is not changing 6550. This is adding capabilities to it, right? So we are not raving, we are up, up, uh, upgrading, like, you know, this updates term, which means anything. Here we are adding a layer. We are adding some additional functionality in the nodes, uh, on some of the nodes in the network, but the, the old behavior is still there for the main DODAC. It's just that we can build additional DODACs. Um, and the way we build those additional DODACs is very compatible in spirit with the way we build the original one. It's just that the, the, the computation is centralized as opposed to being distributed. So instead of, of having this DIO spreading, which is how we build the distributed version, in this case, we are saying, hey, we have enough information in the centralized control to, 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 to bypass that step and start directly at the second step of Ripple. If, if you remember the way Ripple works, the first step is DIO spreading. It's the broadcast thing that spreads and builds the DODAG. And once the DODAG has been built, then there is the DAO phase where the DODAG is populated with prefixes. And now you route to and from the prefixes along the DODAG. That, that's, that's Ripple. Now, here we are saying, hey, the DODAC phase, the computation of the DODAC will be centralized. That's, that's the big difference. So we, are, we have the main DODAC to reach to the devices and tell them about the additional DODACs that are computed centrally. So we use the DODAC zero, if you like, to, to tell the nodes about the other DODACs. But then 
basically all this draft is is signaling to to tell the nodes about the pre-built additional DNS. Pascal, I am. Pascal, I am. I am not. I am uh, not. Uh, I'm not. Uh, not uh, uh, saying that uh, centralized, uh, centralized something. Yeah. Pascal, please mute. Please mute. We're well, not not talking. Okay, thank okay. you. I'm I'm not uh, complaining about your calculation or uh, going to centralized or saying that you uh, shouldn't have your uh, additional features. I am simply asking uh, an operational question. And that operational question is whether you've done any prototyping of this new additions. Additions. And, and the answer I, uh, is no, no, so we've, we've not. Um, it's it's okay. very much reusing what we do in the normal specs. And it's, it's very, very reusing, like the, the way we project the DAO once it's projected, it, it follows the normal DAO procedure up by up in storing mode. But we have not coded it. I don't know about any implementation. Okay, that was that was my only comment. I was not stating anything about your algorithms or anything, and that is feedback to the uh, routing area director and your working group chair that it might be useful when you're changing uh, an existing specification to at least have some implementation experience. Thank you. Pascal, are you clear about what that comment was now? I believe I understand. I mean, I don't take it as a criticism, right? I'm just trying to 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 um, argue that we are not changing Ripple. Ripple stays the way it was exactly. We are adding a layer of uh, of additional capabilities without changing the original capabilities. We are not changing, so we are not damaging the the existing. But that's that's the distinction I wanted to make sure you have in mind. Yes. Pascal, I have some experience with adding additional features to a protocol spec. So based on my uh, additional features, it was simply some feedback to the uh, to you and the ADs. You may uh, choose to ignore it. You may choose to uh, go on. I, I and I please I I commend your hard work in doing a good addition. Yes, the, the, the reason why I was not too happy with going experimental is the experience we have in this working group uh, about experimental. As it goes, the early implementations of everything we've produced has been coming from uh, the open source community, uh, people like Kantiki, and they were not interested um, in the experimental specs that we've produced. They've just ignored them. Um, and, and now we have done AODV repo as a replacement to P2P without any ever implementation of P2P. I, I realize the dynamics in that. I have, um, I have uh, understood that dynamics. Um, I realize that some people, if you label it experimental, don't want to go with the draft. I still uh, uh, stand by the technical agreement. I have uh, because of the problems I've had with other, with the same uh, additions in BGP. So I feel your pain. Uh, Thank you very much, Sue. I think we we gave a chance to everybody to explain his or her position, and thank you for your, you know, honest and comment or explain explanation of your position. We really appreciate that. 
Thanks, Michael. Uh, John Scudder. Um, yeah, just to, to add a little bit, um, I put in the, the chat the observation that um, you know, this, this information will be captured in the Shepherd write-up where it's specifically asked, you know, is there an implementation? And so that information is going to be exposed. Um, and also just an observation, um, different working groups can have different ways of working in terms of exactly, you know, how much they, uh, they, they want to ask for implementation before they progress a document. Um, I happen to, you know, be very sympathetic to the IDR way of working, but I think that we should remember that the IDR way of working is partly chosen because BGP is, um, you know, existential to the functioning of the internet. Um, it's, it's operating at the largest scale that we have available and at the highest stakes we have available. Um, while I love this working group, the same is not exactly true. So I think it's okay if this group applies a different standard. Thank you very much, John and Susan, very much. Michael? Um, I have a different topic, but I'll just say I always find experimental RFCs kind of more exciting. Um, anyway, um, so I, I went to, um, um, what's it called, the, the Mark Blanchet's uh, Space Internet uh, mm. stuff, uh, reading some of the other things, and I've been thinking about this a while. And um, it just, I wanted to just share with the group that um, one of the features of Ripple is that it doesn't babble all the time or uh, it doesn't talk, it doesn't, isn't chatty. It uh, just says what it has to do and goes on. And that's pretty important when the round trip might be 40 minutes uh, to and from Mars. And so it occurs to me that some people may want to um, consider uh, or experiment um, if they have test baits on what happens to Ripple when uh, the propagation delays are in the um, dozens of minutes rather than milliseconds. Um, and uh, that's all really I wanted to share is that I think it's actually probably the right protocol for inter, uh, uh, interspaceship communications. Great comment, Michael. Thank you. Food for thoughts. Very nice. Maybe next step for roll. <laughs> Going to deep space. Why not? <laughs> um, okay. Additional comments or questions? Uh, do you know if the deep space uh, meeting was recorded? The site meeting was recorded or not? Michael, do you know? It was recorded? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, the deep space meeting, just a site meeting, was recorded. Do you know? No. No. Oh. oh, tomorrow another site meeting. Uh, no, they had a site meeting yesterday. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. They had a site meeting yesterday. It was only half an hour. There's another one tomorrow. It's an hour. Um, and I believe that what they said is that uh, they failed to push the right buttons to record it. Oh. Okay, that's all. Um, because AV barely worked at all, and I, I don't think they got a recording. Um, but there wasn't anything really said that wasn't in slides, uh, and Christian will probably Christian Wiedema will probably repeat again. And it was mostly what was talked about at the time was mostly just uh, um, how does Quick do? How well does Quick work over those kind of time delays? And there will be more tomorrow at six thirty or something. Okay, great, thank you very much. And as a reminder, Deep Space is a mailing list, so if you want to join, I think it will be fun. Okay, and as well was mentioned in the DTN yesterday meeting as well, yeah. Okay, uh, thank you very much. Uh, additional comments or questions? Okay, thank you for all your comments into the chat as well. And uh, to everyone for participation. And uh, we hope to see you in the next interim meeting in 25 January. Dominic, do you want to... Uh, no, it was just... You? Getting ready to say bye. Thank you, everybody, for your the great discussion, contributions, and great work. Yes. Okay. Thank you. See you on 25th January. Thank you. Bye bye, all. Bye bye. bye.
strategic enrollment priority. Ah, great. Thank you very much. I guess I'll close with this year that was one issue at a time. I think it's, I think it'll be ready. The dip looks like it's ready. Okay, I will, I will review it then. And we'll check as well the issues, open issues. Okay, okay. This is really, really good work, so I want to thank you. Oh. I will be able to check the comments. I oh. my reporting of the problem. I really, I really 